Hello, this is Shep here at the Sun Valley Auto Club. In front of us is a 1969 Ford Mustang. This one has a, the 302 in it. Automatic transmission, and this is one tight car. If you're looking for a good cruising muscle car, uh, look no further. We've been in plenty of the, uh, the muscle car era uh, rides, and sometimes you know they're just <laughs> good for for going straight have amazing looks uh but kind of a rough ride this mustang grande is uh really best of all the worlds you've got the uh sweet muscle car look but it does have uh just such manners great road manners beautiful look it's kind of the full full package i can't wait to show off the uh upgraded interior on this one as well it is mustang uh week here at the auto club that 65 just got sold a real original 66 back there with the inline six convertible and then you've got this phenomenal mustang grande 1969 we also just shipped out another mustang convertible so i love spring summer we usually get a ton of porsches but nice to see uh, the classics coming out. So if you need a classic ride, this one could be yours. We ship all over the world, all over the United States, and we're two blocks from an airport if you want to fly in and check it out. I will say I've got just a little bit of confusion. Maybe somebody can mention it in the comments. Um, so the when you decode the VIN, at least on the VIN, they can either be a Grande or just the base Mustang. And then when you get to the data plate, that's where the Grande information is. This one um, does not say Grande, but this has been a long time family car. It's a California car. This one came out of the Sacramento region. We had it shipped up. Good friend of the dealership. Brought us his 911T that sold, that's heading off, and then he shipped this one in for us to sell too. But moreover, the point is that he has pictures, and he remembers this car uh, from his aunt and uncle, and it always, even way back when, had that vinyl grande top. So a little bit of confusion for me on the grande, but we can certainly say all the Grande equipment is on there now. So that's a new steering wheel that just got put on. You'll see some of my photos have the old wheel. It does come with two wheels and that thing is just beautiful. And so we installed that right away. Really comfortable sport seats. The back is original. Help from the camera here. The back seats are original. You've got the seat belts in all positions. Beautiful dash that's uncracked. Original door panels, door cards, if you will. And those seats are just hug your body, super comfortable, brand new. So more than just the covers, full restoration and cushions, super sharp Mustang floor mats. A lot of work was put into this one to get it at this level. I'm just thrilled to, thrilled to have it. 302 is in good shape. My mechanic who did the inspection is out today. It is a factory AC car. You'll have to come back to me. I don't think that AC is working. I'm not quite sure. Don's a great AC tech that he actually looked at that and confirm the operation, but uh, I'll come back to that detail. 
uh, before it gets sold or give me a shout and let me know what we learned from that. But 302, in fantastic shape. Original hood springs. Just a well sorted, well sorted engine. We'll go ahead and turn it on and give it a listen. Easy start up. I see that fuel gauge coming up. It was a little bit lower. I actually have. Uh, some gas is going to drop in it, but I'll just uh, keep cruising at the end of the test drive and drop some fuel in it. Automatic transmission, so easy to use. Upgraded Mustang radio, looks classic. Alternators up. And we'll keep an eye on the temp. Indicators are working. I see our uh, wires are wired up opposite, but your hood lights do work. Classic tri bar lighting display, side marker, side lights all work running lights One thing on the front of the hood that I wanted to point out, there's a little paint flaw. You see when you get close up, you do have a little black overspray on the red. So if you ship this one out long distance, just didn't want that to be a surprise. Currently registered in California. It'll be sold on a clean California uh, title. Idaho bill of sale, no issue with that. Yeah, that domed hood is so fun to look at as you're going down the road. So power steering. Power disc brakes. Nice rumble from that V8. Clean shifts on that transmission. Really tight steering. That little rattle is from this really cool seatbelt holder. If you don't want to hear that, you can just uh, take this seatbelt out of their little spot. But that's that interior little rattle. I'll just take those out for the uh, ride back and demonstrate. So 
some 60s cars you get into and they look great but they're kind of tough to drive and you feel like at any point the thing's going to shake apart this one is just tight so fun to drive Beautiful aftermarket wheels. Excellent body. Just wanted to show it off in the, in the natural light out here. So the joy of classic cars, they're collectible, fun to drive, fun to look at, and you'll make people's day wherever you go. So here's Shep, uh, I mean, here's, <laughs> here's me. Here's the 69 Mustang. You can contact me, Shep, here at the Sun Valley Auto Club, 208-721-1973. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you on the next video.